This lesson will be on how to figure reading rate, and there are basically five steps involved. And so I'm going to display the steps and give you a chance to read and think about each one of them. Let's spend a moment going over each one of these steps and how you can do it. So the first thing you want to do is to find out how many words are in a given passage. And uh, if you recall, <clears throat> we read this short story at the first workshop, and it was called The House Party by Walter Bernstein. <clears throat> now, you could just simply grab all the text to find out how many words are in there, but what I like to do is to have an exact count of what the students are actually going to read. So I put a cursor at the beginning of the reading passage and go all the way to the end of the story and then put the cursor with a shift click at the end and you've grabbed only the text that you actually are going to time the students reading. You go up to the tools menu and come down to word count and you'll see that word says there are exactly 839 words in this passage. So. I go to the end of the story and usually put brackets and in the brackets we're going to start with the figure of 839 words and we want to convert this to the base 60 and so the way to do that is to go to our dashboard here and multiply let's clear this out multiply 839 times 60 and we get a rather large figure of 50,340. So let's record that number 50,340 and the next thing we have to determine is the actual time it took the student to read this passage. So <clears throat> we use a timer when we have the students read. Now I have a countdown timer here which we use to time segments of the class but there's also a stopwatch which will allow us to use a startup timer. So we get the students all prepared and I give them the go signal. Tell them to read the passage at their normal rate. When they finished, immediately look up and record the time that they see up on the timer and write that timer down. And then turn to their silent reading book and start to read. So when all the students are ready, simply hit the start button. And we're going to have the students read until we see that <clears throat> the last student has finished reading and has turned to the silent reading book. You know, at that point we would turn the clock off. It would probably be at about five or six minutes with a normal passage. Uh, but some students would be done in as little as two and a half to three minutes. So then you switch to the countdown timer and start that clock. And now the students are silent reading in, in their chosen book. Um, when you get down to about 30 seconds or so, you can make an announcement like, uh, please finish the page you're on, which usually means that the student will complete that page and maybe read to the end of the first paragraph on the next page, and then stop. And then we simply close out the timer, and we're going to ask the students to go to that time that they had put down here. Now, in our hypothetical example, we had... Um, uh, a time of 3 minutes and 45 seconds and that converted to 225 seconds. Uh, this is the only part of the math that I do for the students. I provide them with a time conversion table and this table allows them to take whatever speed it took them or whatever time it took them to read the passage and quickly convert that time to seconds. So we call this a time conversion table at the bottom of each page there is a listing of how to, the formula that was explained to you and how to convert this. But all they really need to do here is go to their time, which for our purposes we said was 3 minutes and 45 seconds, and check that on the time conversion table, and that comes out to 
right here, 225 seconds. So if we go back to uh, the story, uh, we can put a division sign here and this will equal words per minute. So on our original chart we said that <clears throat> you take this factor 50,340 which is the total number of words times 60 and divide it by the total seconds which is 225 and we simply call up our dashboard here and put 50,340 divided by 225 and this equals 223 words per minute equals 223 words per minute and that's how you figure reading rate uh, give the students a reading log and they will record each day their that we do this and we try to do it daily because these fluency checks only take uh, you know three to five minutes worth of class time they write down their time and their seconds they figure they write down the total words for the passage and the, and the total that's in there and then they figure their word words per minute by simply using a calculator that they can have on their smartphones or they could bring a small calculator to class and they could share calculators um, we'll take a quick look at what this looks like Here's an example of a student who kept a log from the first day of class, August 29th, all the way to the end of the first quarter, which was November 5th. And you can see that her fluency started at just under 300 words per minute, and she became quite a fluent reader, getting herself up to reading about 1,000 words a minute. Now, I don't know what the comprehension was. We've got separate checks on comprehension. But uh, this was an attempt to uh, increase the fluency of the students to make them more automatic readers and to free up their mind for the more difficult and challenging task of comprehension. So that is how reading fluency is figured in the classroom.